Hi guys and welcome to our tutorial on how to create a spray paint can in Rhino 3D. So we're going to start off in our right viewpoint and we're going to use the polyline tool and the curve tool to create a sectional view of our spray paint can. So we'll start off by clicking on the polyline button and start mapping out a rough outline to our spray paint can. Right, because I have the snap option on, I cannot select in between the grid. So I can't select 0.5, all I can select is 1, 2, 3, 4, so I can't go 4.5, for example, without turning the snap off. So to get around this, you can turn the snap off, or you can actually select it on the keyboard and by pushing enter. So in this instance, I want 0.5, so I'll put in 0.5 and then push enter, and it's created a polyline which is 0.5 long. I can't manually change this now um, by making by moving the mouse further away. All I can do is change it with the keypad or the keyboard. So I want that uh, dimension or unit. So I've selected that, and then you come across this other problem, which is again snapping to the grid. So to get around this, hold Shift, and it should create a straight line or a parallel line. So that's just a good idea, a good thing to know. So there's our basic outline almost finished. We just have to change this bottom part. So what we're going to use is our curve tool and create a, a sweeping curve for the bottom of the can, which is something like that. So basically, we have two lines overlapping now. We've got this poly line here and this line here. We want this line here, so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this and then we're going to use the trim tool to trim this extra line down. So now that's gone, push enter. We now have two poly lines. So what we want to do is, is highlight it or control A and join them together using the join button. So now we have our complete curve. So what we're going to do is come out of our right view and come into our perspective view. So now what we want to do is click on the curve that we've created, come onto our surface toolbar and select revolve. Right, so what we want to do here is asking us in our command bar the start of revolve axis. Basically it's going to ask us which points we want to revolve from. So we want to revolve from the edge of our drawing. So we'll select this edge and this edge here. Right, so in this option you can re revolve a curve at any degree. So from a full circle to a quarter anything but for the purposes of this tutorial we want to rotate it 360 degrees or a full circle so we can come up to the command bar and select full circle and it will create our model so as you can see it's looking a bit blocky at the moment um, what we want to do is to change these edges into radiuses so what we want to do is get rid of our surface toolbar and come onto our solids toolbar um, we want to select the variable radius fillet and we're going to start working on this this curve here first or this edge um, basically we want this edge to come right over or, and or the radius right over so to do this we want to check to see what our current radius is and at the moment it's one that's not going to be big enough so to change it enter on your keyboard um, a value so in this case 10 and then press enter and that will change the radius and then all you have to do is select the curve push enter and it will show you the curve where it will end and where it will start so push enter again and it will create the curve so repeat this for the other curves 
on the model. Oops. Seems to have flipped it. <laughs> Right, so there's our basic can. Um, at the moment, because everything is a complete solid, when it comes to applying materials, this wouldn't be a very good model. So what we want to do is, is select it and explode it so that all the surfaces are now separate. So from that we want to select the surfaces which would be the same, be the same material on the model, so I'm going to select select all of the middle here, or the body of the can, and join them together using the join tool. So that now has created one solid um, surface. So to make it easier, use the hide tool to get rid of everything that you've put together or joined together. So you can highlight all of these. If you've selected a curve in with it, it will not join it to this extra surface. So I'll might need to worry about hiding that. Um, join and then hide. And then again, if if the surfaces aren't touching each other, they will not join together. So selecting two things like this won't join them together. So both are still separate. So what we want to do is show them. So on the hide. Uh, button you can click right click and you'll bring everything back up this is now a completed model and you can apply surface uh, materials to all the different surfaces I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, please check out our other videos and our blog um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask them and thank you for watching